rising on a point of order. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, members of this assembly, on Thursday afternoon last week, I made a number of comments during time allotted for member statements that were wrong, improper, inappropriate, and extremely unparliamentary. I want to stand in this house today and apologize for my behavior and retract those remarks. Firstly, I want to apologize for the House, to the House, for these remarks as they were, as I said, improper, wrong, and extremely unparliamentary. Since being elected as a member of Charlottetown over the seven years ago, I have attempted to conduct myself with dignity and honor. In other words, in a manner that acknowledges and respects the importance and significance of this institution. That certainly, Mr. Speaker, was not the case last Thursday afternoon. I deeply regret my actions. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, I want to sincerely apologize to the Right Honorable Brian Mulroney and his family. Although the remarks were rhetorical and meant as solely as verbally, they were highly improper and ought not to have been made. I sincerely apologize to him and his family, and I do hope he accepts my apology. Thirdly, Mr. Speaker, I want to apologize to my colleague and friend, the Member of Parliament from Abbotsford. He had the floor at the time my remarks were made, and I should not have been, and they should not have been made. And I should not have been saying anything at that particular time, let alone what I did say. I want to apologize to you, Mr. Speaker. You have a difficult job in this highly partisan environment. You do a good job. I did not make your job any easier, and I want to apologize for my behavior. I also want to apologize for my to my family, immediate and extended, for any embarrassments caused to them. They have come to expect better of me, and in this occasion, I feel that I have let them down. Mr. Speaker, I could go on and give some reasons or excuses, or try and explain to this House what was going on in my mind at that particular moment. I will not, as I feel I would only detract from my apology and retraction. I want my statement to be full, frank, unqualified, and without any qualifications whatsoever. In other words, I accept total responsibility for my inappropriate words. In closing, Mr. Speaker, I repeat that I do apologize for my inappropriate remarks, and I do hope, I do hope that all members of this assembly will accept my apology and retraction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me the time to address the